POC Network here with another unboxing, this time coming from the company Depstech. And this is their DS300. It is a 1080p dual lens industrial waterproof endoscope. And what that means is it's a snake with a camera at the end of it that goes into tight, small places so you can see things that you normally can't see. It features a 16 and a half foot snake, a bendable snake that allows you to be able to get into well, everywhere, pretty much. And it's waterproof as well. It's IP67, well, at least water resistance. Nothing really is truly waterproof, but it's waterproofing or proofed up to a certain degree, but it allows you to pretty much submerge it into hard to reach places like inside an engine or, or down a pipe to see where your sewage is going and what's blocking it up, uh, down the sink drain or anything like that. This is exactly what you need for those types of jobs where you wanna be able to see what's going on in there when you normally can't see it. It also has a dual camera design, which is kind of cool. Uh, you're starting to see this pop up a little bit more often, but not too much. Uh, mainly with just, I think, just Depstack. Depstack's like the only company that's done it, I believe. But you have two cameras. You have a camera that's facing forward, like normal, and then you also have a camera that's facing to the side. So that way, if, you, if you're shooting forward, but you're trying to see something that's over here, you can switch it 90 degrees to the other lens, and you're able to see something from that angle as well. It also has a built-in light, which is also common in most of these models. It allows you to see what you're doing in those dark places and crevices that you're sending it through. And it has a built-in display. It has a 4.3 inch LCD display. It's just a, the, the unit that's on the other end of the snake. So that way you don't have to have this connected to a smartphone or a tablet or anything like that. It's just take it out, turn it on and use it. And then it comes with a 32 gigabyte Micro SD, it's probably a micro, this it says SD, but I think it's a micro SD card that's in here as well. So that way you don't have to go out and buy one, which is also important because it's, it's an $80 product. So it better come with an SD card. But with that, you have up to three to four hours of use on a charge before having to put on the charge again. So that should be more than enough to get you through what you need it for, as well as you know a number of other uses before having to charge it again. But again, that MSRP of this, it's $79.99, $80. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna open it up see what it looks like, what it comes with, and maybe give you some demo footage to see what it looks like while it's in use. So opening it up, first thing you come, through, come to is the actual unit. And as mentioned, it is a, it's a bendable uh, snake with plenty of length on it. You have your, your end here that has a camera here, as well as right there. And again, 1080p, built-in light, so you can see what you're doing. It looks like both sides have a light. This one just has one little LED module, and this one has 246. That's coming out the front. And then you have your unit here, which has all your buttons. So this is your 4.3 inch display here, LCD display. You have some buttons across the front here. This top one right here is just for taking pictures and video. And that's, uh, it allows you to take pictures or video. So this, it's like a camera or a smartphone. You know, you just point, click, and take the picture or begin or stop the recording of the video file. And the bottom button here is for turning the power to the unit on and off. And then you have some buttons in the middle here of which you have the, this is 180 degree spin around. You have a menu button right here uh, to get to some of your options. You have your okay, play and pause button. Uh, so that's just when you're moving around the menu, you can hit okay to choose an item and or play pause videos that you want to go back and see what you recorded. And then you have your next and previous buttons down here at the bottom. And I mean, that's, that's it. It's pretty easy. You just take the snake, bring it or, or kind of feed it into an area that you need to uh, get a view of and hit record or take a picture. And that's it. So the menu and everything else, you're just gonna be playing with that stuff when you're wanting to set resolutions and whatnot. And then uh, everything else is just gonna be take picture and or switch between cameras while it's in actual use. The SD card is located at the bottom here. It has a little thing here. It says the TF card has been inserted into the screen display already. So you just remove this little sticker. There's a flap right here. And you have two things, actually you have a number of things here. You have a reset button, uh, so you can just completely reset the unit in case you're having difficulties with something. You have a micro USB input here for charging it with, because it is wireless, you don't have to have it plugged in during use. And then you have your, as I thought, micro SD. It's just a generic off-brand, no name card, which is not a, a problem because for something like this, you don't really need anything fancy. It's not a 4K 
camera or anything, so the speed of the card should be more than enough to keep up with whatever you're doing with this thing. And most likely everything that this takes, it's going to be heavily compressed anyways. So that is the actual unit itself. And then you have some accessories here. This is also common with a lot of these. These are just like different types of hooks. There's a magnetic one here. And then you have, a, this is just a key for getting to that reset button that's on the bottom. You have a, uh, looks like just a collar here, uh, but the, this is the hook I was referring to. So that way, if you're in the drain and you're trying to get to something, like say something fell down the drain, like a ring, you can use this hook to try to grab that ring and bring it up. Or if it's a metal that, that interacts with magnets, then you can use this that has a mag magnetic tip or just a magnet at the end here. So that way you can try to grab it with this and pull it out of the drain. So it's kind of like a all-in-one tool for fixing problems in hard to reach places where you can see what you're doing or see what the problem is at least and then maybe even resolve it with a hook or a magnet. Then you have a USB cable here which is just a micro USB to USB cable for charging it with and then finally some instructions in case you need to learn about what you're clicking on within the menu or to see what some of the options are but and from what we've seen from the company Depths Tech most of their stuff is pretty much user-friendly and self-explanatory. So once you get into the menu system, you'll be able to get around to through all the settings and features of it without having to read the instructions. But just in case, here they are. So that comes to uh, the question of what does it look like? What does the camera quality look like with this? So for that, we're going to do some demo footage here and uh, take a look. So let's go ahead and cue some Mission Impossible and take a look at some of these uh, videos and uh, nope, mm, I'm being told we do not have the license for Mission Impossible. So let's do it manual style. Dun, 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 da, da, dun, dun, da, dun, 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 da, 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 oh. I think I enjoy my job a little too much sometimes. Again, this is the DS300 endoscope or boroscope uh, from Depths Tech. We'll have links in the description of this video where you can find this online at amazon.com. And if you'd like to be seen here, don't forget to comment below and chat about this. Maybe you have one of these, maybe you have one similar to it. Definitely, if you want to chat amongst each other or with us, definitely use those comments and share your opinions. And of course, subscribe. Definitely follow us, subscribe. We have many more videos to come. As always, we thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.